The overall goal of this technique is to enable incorporation of water-insoluble chlorophylls into the binding sites of water-soluble proteins. This method enables assembly of chlorophylls with recombinant proteins, which allows rigorous studies of chlorophyll protein interactions and opens up new possibilities for constructing novel chlorophyll protein complexes. The main advantage of this technique is that it does not require tagging or immobilizing the proteins. Thus, it is well suited for screening assays. Demonstrating the procedure will be Dominika Bednarczyk, a postdoc in my research group. While preparing the following stock solutions, perform all chlorophyll preparation steps under a chemical hood, under green light or in the dark, to minimize photo damage. Always add nitrogen or argon before freezing the pigments for storage and ensure that all solvents are analytical grade. To begin, weigh about 5 grams of lyophilized spirulina platensis cells or other cyanobacterium cells containing only chlorophyll A or chlorophyll A and thylakoid membranes and use a mortar and pestle to crush it. The critical step during the chlorophyll extraction is to make sure that cyanobacterial cells are thoroughly lyophilized and to ensure the complete removal of water from DA cephalos by several washes with acetone. Load the crushed cells onto a glass column and with about 50 to 100 milliliters of 100% acetone, wash the tissue to remove the carotenoids. After washing, discard the eluted orange-green fraction. The actual color may vary from orange-green to green depending on the cyanobacteria culture.